Hi, Rob here today. Today we're going to install a uh, light bulb security camera at the end of my garage. Let me show you. This is what I currently have at the end of my garage. I have this uh, plate and then two floodlights. One shines down the driveway and one shines into my front yard. What I'm going to, to do is take that plate and lights off and get a new plate that's threaded and so I'll have the driveway light in this socket here. Then I'll put a 90 in the plate here and run a piece of conduit over to the corner of the garage, have another 90, and then put a um, socket for the Wi-Fi camera to screw into. Here's the 90 I'm going to put into the plate and then I'm going to have a piece of conduit that runs to the corner of the garage and then another 90 and then finally uh, the uh, socket that the Wi-Fi camera will screw into. Inside my garage I have this two gang box. Uh, this on the left is a uh, timer that controls the driveway light. This switch control is for the garage lights and then a receptacle here. From this two gang box there's a conduit that runs up inside the wall and then it runs along the ceiling and eventually comes out here and goes right out to the garage light. I've already pulled a new power line through the conduit for the Wi-Fi light bulb camera because it requires its own power source. And then back at the box I'm going to replace this switch and receptacle with this double switch. The top switch will be the garage lights as they were before and the bottom switch will be power to the Wi-Fi light bulb camera. Okay, the bulb the bulb wouldn't uh, screw into the socket. It was just too deep so what I did is I cut uh, the little bell end off and now the bulb will go in real nice and I think what I'll do is uh, it came with this rubber piece on the end like so. I'm just going to glue this on and then screw the bulb in so it'll look finished. I needed to extend uh, the wires from this socket that the uh, camera's going to screw into. They needed to be extended so they could go through this uh, conduit and then over to the uh, where the other light is at. So what I did is I just uh, soldered a couple uh, stranded 14 wires on. I didn't have any connectors, so I soldered them together and just wrapped it with tape. I'm going to put the wires in the conduit and get everything mounted on the end of the garage above the door. I've got all the wires run now and I'm ready to uh, do the final installation. This black is the hot for the driveway light. The red, that's going to be the, that is the hot for the Wi-Fi camera. It uh, run, connects to a black and runs down the conduit and then I have all the common together and all the grounds together. And here's the piece of conduit that goes out to the 90 and then to that socket that I modified for the Wi-Fi camera. Following uh, are some views of the finished installation. I had bought two Wi-Fi cameras. This is a 2G Wi-Fi smart camera. I tried it first and I ended up not liking it. And so I tried this 3G Hugalog, if I pronounce that right. 3G and I liked it best of all. Here's the final installation. Uh, th this is that 2G camera, but you can see the driveway light, conduit, and then the Wi-Fi camera. Both Wi-Fi cameras, they will track movement. I ended up not liking the tracking on either, so I have the camera fixed looking down the driveway. And then in another video, I installed one of those doorbell uh, Wi-Fi cameras right here on my on right by the front door. But here's a little close-up view of the installation. I ended up using a different 90 on this plate than I showed earlier in the video. I think I showed a 90 like this that I was going to use on the plate, but this 90 it was just easier to get everything connected together. That's why I ended up going with that one. And another view, this is with the uh, 3G camera installed. And I uh, downloaded the app on my phone. It's the Hugalog Connect app right here. 
and when you click on the app it opens like so and then if you click here to enter the device it shows a picture pretty pretty good picture quality I'm impressed with it uh, but going back to the app if you click on messages now I ended up putting a sim card in the camera so it does continuous recording I don't know if it's four days seven days but it's just a continuous recording and if I go into messages it gives me uh, every time there was some human body detected and if I click on the view it'll pop open the the video I'll show you that Well, there you have it. I thought that's pretty uh, cool how you can record things and then go back and view them. Kind of a novelty. Well, I hope I gave you some ideas if you choose to install a uh, screw-in light bulb Wi-Fi camera. I really like them because all you need is power and Wi-Fi and you can put them almost anywhere around your house. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.